Hi everyone, this is Yana Smakula and welcome to another Hero Arts video tutorial. This video is the third one in the new series called Color Layering with Yana. In each one of those videos published once a month, I explore different ink pad and embossing powder color options for Hero Arts color layering sets. In this video, I'm taking a closer look at the color layering partridge stamp set and I have three classic, I should say, color combo ideas to share as well as two Christmas cards. So let's jump right in. I don't have all colors of ink for the Hero Arts recommended color combo for this stamp set, which is pumpkin pie, just rust, red royal, and gold embossing powder. I'm missing the just rust color, but I will share color combos using similar colors. Here, I've already stamped the base layer for my bird using pumpkin pie ink color. To stamp the second detail layer, I'm using the Cup of Joe ink, and I will later heat emboss over this stamping using embossing powder. I do need to stamp this layer to be able to stamp the detail of the wing and the chest. So technically, you do not need to stamp this particular layer if you plan to heat emboss it, but it does help to align all further layers on your image. I hope this makes sense. Next, I'm using Red Royal ink color to stamp the head detail layer, and I'm using my stamp positioner tools today to be able to double stamp layers, although it's not mandatory. It's simply a habit of mine. This image has other layers to it, but I plan to cut it out using my frame cuts die. So to make sure I stamp the feet and the feather on the head of the bird in the correct place, I will cut the image out using my coordinating die first and will then stamp those additional layers or images. Now, if you don't plan to cut the image out or if you plan to cut it out using the second die, the one that doesn't have the feet and the feather, and I'll show you what I mean in just a minute, you don't have to worry about this. Moving on to stamping the second bird. This time I'm starting out with an ombre ink pad for my base layer. I'm using Ombre Autumn, and I ink up my stamp so that the darkest color of the three colors in this ink pad is at the bottom, and the lightest color is at the top. For the detail layer here, I'm using Red Royal, and this layer once again will be heat embossed over in a coordinating color of embossing powder. And finally, I'm using Cup of Joe ink color for the head detail layer. For my last one, for my last bird, I am once again using Hero Arts Ombre ink pad. This one is Vintage Metallic Rust. It's actually a pigment ink. I was using dye inks prior to this, and it's absolutely okay to combine pigment and dye inks. Now, it does matter in what order you stamp the pigment and dye inks. Be sure to watch my previous episode from this series to learn more about it, and I'll link to it here. For the detail layer, I'm using Cup of Joe color, and for the head detail layer, I'm using Red Royal. So I used almost the same colors of ink, I just switched them places and used different colors for the base of my bird, and this gave me really different results. These birds come in many different colors or color combinations, and some of them have a lot of black and gray to them, so you can research the colors of these online. I just go to Pinterest and I search for partridge photo and get lots of real life results. Next, I'm going to stamp the wings on all of these and I'm using Red Royal and Cup of Joe inks once again. And you can see that I'm basically just alternating the colors. And I'm also stamping the chest detail layer, again, using same colors of ink. For the faces of these birds, I'm using black. I didn't want to use brown as it would have blended in with the other colors that I already have here, so this is why I picked black. Now it's time to cut these birds out. Here I have two of the frame cuts dies from the coordinating die set for this partridge, and you can see that one die is just the shape of the bird, so exactly what I have stamped right now, and the other die is the same bird, but it has feet and a feather on its head. This is the die that I will be using and I'll stamp feet and feather after I've cut my images out for precise stamping. Now that I've cut them out, I can stamp the feather and I'm using Red Royal for this and stamping their feet using brown, soft brown and Red Royal. The next step is to do heat embossing. So I'm first using my heat tool and I'm drying these images. I need to make sure that the ink is dry and my embossing powder is not going to end up everywhere where I don't need it. 
Just to be safe, I'm prepping my images with an anti-static powder tool and pouring embossing powder to test and see if it's going to stick to anything. The powder did not stick, so that means I'm good to go. I don't always test this, but it does help, especially on highly detailed images like these, where there's a lot of stamping involved. You don't want to stamp all of this and then ruin your image by adding embossing powder onto a wet surface. So I'm going to ink up that second detail layer once again. I'm using clear embossing ink this time. I'm going to stamp it onto my bird and I'm doing my best here to perfectly align it and then we'll cover it with embossing powder. I have three colors of embossing powder from Hero Arts. I have brass, copper, and gold, and I'll use all three of these colors on all three of my birds to spice them up. Now, if you don't stamp perfectly on top of the previously stamped layer, that's okay. You'll get a really nice offset this way, and I think I have one going on on one of my birds, and I really like that look. So I'm just going to repeat the heat embossing on all three of my die images, and that will add the final detail to these. Now, you don't have to heat emboss the top layer, but I think that it certainly adds a lot of wow to these and makes them very special. Now, let's move on to making several cards using these images. I'm going to stamp a number of pairs. They all come from this same color layering partridge stamp set, and I'm stamping them in butter bar, caramel, and Copa Joe inks onto a piece of white paper. I'll cut these images out using a frame cut die, and we'll use them to make a pear wreath for one of my cards. You can also stamp these pears using greens or a mix of yellow and green colors. I wanted all of mine to be yellow to work with the card idea, the, the colors that I had in mind. I also created a quick ink blended background using my Hero Arts ink. I blended some indigo color forming a circle on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel. And I'm using Hero Arts white paper here. I purposely left the center of the circle almost white and added navy ink color around the edges of the panel. So basically I blended the entire panel blue with just some variation of color in the middle. Next I used the die cut pairs as well as several leaves and I stamped those using images from another stamp set from Hero Arts. This is a color layering dimensional bird and I formed them into a wreath on my blue ink blended panel. I foam mounted the pairs on top to pop them up and next used glue to adhere the leaves and I shaped each of the leaves with my fingers to make them a bit curved and dimensional. I foam mounted one of my birds on top. I used one with a gold embossing powder detail and this is also the bird that was stamped using pumpkin pie ink color for the base layer. I heat embossed Season's Greetings under the wreath and embellished this card using several sequins from the Champagne Sequin Mix. To create a background for my second bird, I used the branch image from that same stamp set that I used earlier, the color layering dimensional bird, and I stamped it in Cup of Joe ink repeatedly onto the white cardstock panel, forming tree branches. I kept my die cut bird on the panel to better visualize and plan my stamping. Next, I stamped a number of pairs using light ruby to red royal ombre ink. I was going for a lot of red for this card. And once again, I inked up my image so that the dark red was at the bottom and the light red was at the top. I added detail layers using Red Royal and the final detail on these pairs was stamped using Kappa Joe ink. Once that was done, I stamped a number of leaves using several colors of ink from Hero Arts. I used Ombre Green ink pad for the largest leaf, Forever Green for the medium sized leaf, and finally, moss ink color for the smallest leaf. I foam mounted my bird onto my background and added a copper heat embossed sentiment that reads on the first day of Christmas. And my bird also has copper heat embossed detail on it. I also embellished this card using ombre blush sequins from Hero Arts. So this finishes my video. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode from the Color Layering with Yana video series. Be sure to stop by next month for the next episode. If you missed the first two episodes from these series, be sure to watch those as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet done so. If you are subscribed but are not receiving new video notifications, check the bell icon on the homepage of my channel to get notified every time there's a new video published. 
Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.